Today we are talking about how to deal with people when they are belittling you or they're being condescending. They're doing it to you or to other people around you and you're getting angry and frustrated or feeling a little downtrodden and lacking confidence as a result. Might be at home, might be with friends, acquaintances, maybe in your workplace. I've seen it play out in all areas of life because human beings do it, particular types of people do it a lot. And so you're not going to be able to escape it, okay? We're in a highly interactive life experience and community at home and at work, and so sometimes you're gonna come across it. So rather than get upset about it, let's just get smart and learn how to deal with it. Okay, so the first thing I would say is that you could just ignore it, okay? And if you're able to detach from what people say and do and understand it's not about you, then fine, that's great. But most people, what they do is take on board that belittling and that condescending nature as an attack on themselves as somehow diminishing themselves, and then they carry that kind of negativity with them, okay? You definitely do not want to bring that behavior back at the other person. You don't reply to belittling and condescending behavior with more belittling and condescending behavior. That is like pouring fuel on a fire. What you want to learn is the number one thing to help you detach from people that are behaving that way is to know that people only belittle other people when they are trying to expand and elevate themselves. The only reason you need to feel like you have to expand and elevate yourselves is because you feel small. That is fundamental to understand. When you know that and someone is being belittling or condescending towards you and you understand that they're trying to elevate themselves by putting you down, by pushing you down, by making you smaller, by making you feel less than, less than what? Less than them. So they're attempting to have you feel less than them in order that they can feel more than. Why would they need to feel more than? Because they don't feel enough in the first place. Now the interesting thing is, is that it's not necessarily a conscious process. People are not going out being rude and belittling you and being condescending towards you because I don't feel good enough so if I go out and be rude to this person or make them feel less than then I'll feel better about myself. Because I tell you people that are belittling others and are being condescending likely have one, no self-awareness that they're doing it. Two, little to no self-awareness as to why they would even do it in the first place. And three, they don't have the tools in place to know how to operate any other way. Because if they did, they'd be a conscious human being and they'd be attempting to monitor themselves and to grow. So they're in that state where they're unconscious to their own behavior. Does that make it okay? No. Can you have a little empathy for them? Possibly yes, right? Because when you're totally unconscious to your own behavior, or you're conscious to it but you don't know any other way because you're lacking tools, then we all know what that feels like. It plays out in different areas of life in different ways. So when they are belittling and condescending towards you, remember this, they want to feel more than you. They want to feel more than you, so they want you to feel less than. They want to elevate themselves, and quite often the way they will do that is to make you feel less. They can only, when they're adjusting themselves in balance to you, either push you down or lift themselves up. And most people that are being belittling and condescending, because of their level of lack of self-awareness, lack of consciousness, lack of interpersonal skills and EQ, are not actually capable of lifting themselves any higher, because if they were, they would know that this is limiting. This kind of behavior, belittling and condescending, limits your professional success, limits your relationships, limits you personally, limits you in every way. So therefore, if they're unable to elevate themselves, literally expand themselves and to reach higher, then their only option is to feel bigger in comparison to other people, which is where you'll find sarcasm, belittling, condescending, okay, making you feel less than. Again, why do you want to know this? Because you have to understand that that behavior is not about you, it's not a reflection on you. It is entirely a reflection of them and where they're at. Is that laying blame on them? Not really, but it is saying, look at this other human being who doesn't have the level of consciousness to be able to interact with any level of emotional intelligence and with the communication and interpersonal skills to develop healthy, thriving relationships, and this is what they're stuck in, and this is their pattern. It's not about you. What they say, what they do is not about you. It is a reflection of them. When that kind of behavior comes out of them, you guarantee that's what's going on within them. If they are pushing down on you, they are trying to elevate themselves because they don't feel enough. And that is fundamentally one of the biggest issues that people have in any area of life. When I'm coaching people and dealing with them in their workplace, dealing with them in their personal lives, they don't feel enough. They don't feel confident enough in themselves. They feel like they've got flaws or weaknesses and they're trying to cope 
in life in order to be successful, in order to thrive, and quite often what people do is they patch on fixes, and they pick up bad habits, they pick up coping mechanisms mentally and emotionally, and sometimes that plays out as things like belittling and condescending behaviour. So the number one is it happens, it comes at you, you notice it, you notice you don't like it, you've got a choice, buy into it and react, you don't want to do painful reaction, it's definitely not going to serve you. So what you do is you notice, you pause, you breathe deeply, you say this is not about me, this is about them. They do not feel enough, therefore they're trying to elevate themselves and push me down. I don't buy it, I don't take it, I don't own it, I don't absorb it. What do I do? I just watch it. Not about me. You can actually even say to somebody, if they are being belittling and condescending towards you, to say, I'm hearing what you're saying, but I'm not taking it on board. What you're saying to me is coming from you, is coming from your view, is coming from your perspective, and with the utmost of respect, it's got nothing to do with me. Okay, And at the very least, that's a respectful and direct communication, which is totally legitimate in a position where somebody is attacking you, and you are then able to have them just have a slight little wake-up call moment and go, you know, and even if they attack back in their quiet moment at home alone on their own, they'll reflect and they'll think, oh, maybe that actually wasn't about them, it was about me. Okay, so your job is not to fix them or to tell them what's wrong and to tell them why they shouldn't be doing that and definitely not to tell them. You don't feel good enough, therefore you're doing that to me. Fuel on the fire. Not your job to fix other people or wake people up to their own limiting patterns. Just simply to not take that stuff on board yourself. Okay? The more conscious you can be, the better your network. Okay? The more conscious people there are in your network, the more everybody thrives. So personally at home and your family and your friends and your workplace, your job is to be conscious. The more conscious you are, the more compassionate, the more emotional intelligence you have, the better your relationship skills, the better your communication, the more flow on impact it bleeds into and across everything and everyone that you interact with. And that is ultimately how groups and teams thrive, whether it's at home or at work. The more conscious people are, the more self-aware you are, the more in check you are with your own behavior, the better things go. So when people are being belittling and condescending, that's the approach, and what do you do? You own, how am I going to respond? Not how am I going to tell them what's wrong with them. <laughs> Acknowledge why they're doing that, have a little empathy, and then own your behaviour and your response. I hope this has been helpful, and I'm looking forward to sharing more daily inspiration again with you soon.